Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Welcome to Our Region's Business with your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on Our Region's Business, a fast-growing dental practice based right here in our region makes the Inc. 500 for the second year in a row. Plus, the refurbished Georgian Inn in Somerset begins its second century and will take a tour of one of our region's grand old homes. But first, a new home for one of our region's fast-growing natural gas companies. Cabot Oil & Gas is moving a bit farther west on the Parkway West to new offices in, uh, in North Fayette. The natural gas exploration company consolidated operations into the Pittsburgh region about five years ago and has been expanding ever since. George Stark is back with us. He's Director of External Affairs for Cabot Oil & Gas Corporation. Welcome. Good to see you again. Thank you, Bill. Thank yeah, you Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, Absolutely. and I guess a good new year for Cabot. You're getting new digs, right? We're getting new digs in the new year. It's a great opportunity to, to as you said, move to a new office, and uh, it has to do with growth. All the growth of the energy here and the more employees we keep putting on needed more space. So the new digs will allow us to have a larger footprint for an expanding workforce. Now, I know Cabot consolidated operations here a few years ago, but the company actually has a long-standing history here in our region, right? We, we do have a long-standing history. We're a company that's 125 years old that uh, started up in New England, but Godfrey Cabot, our predecessor, founder, uh, chased the oil and natural gas play to western Pennsylvania. You might be familiar with a Cabot in Butler County, okay. it's named after Godfrey Cabot because hmm. he did operations there uh, in Titusville all the way down through into West Virginia. He kept moving with the uh, oil and natural gas industry. Interesting. So that sort of spirit of, of following opportunity has continued because now it's the Marcella Shale, right? And now we're back. <laughs> yeah, you know? and really. It's, and, and it's fun because folks in, in, in the South know that we came there and now all of a sudden we get the opportunity to come home hmm. and it's really nice and rewarding to be back in an area where our, our roots were. Yet, yet a lot of your drilling is in what northeast north central Pennsylvania up in Susquehanna County right? Yes so our drilling takes place specifically in Susquehanna County which as you go, it's six hours from here. That's sure. when you realize how large the Commonwealth is when you have to drive over to Susquehanna. And a very County. rural county for people who don't know it, probably a lot like Fayette County around here, it, right? It would be very similar. Yeah. Right, beautiful country. Uh, farming and dairy and quarries were the main industries prior to the boom in the natural gas. And the benefit today is it is the most prolific place in the sus in the Marcella ship. No kidding, in terms yes, of sir. what the output from the, the gas wells down there? Yes. Wow. Yes, so we've been operating for about five years in earnest. We have 300, 350 operating wells, yet we produce 1.5 billion cubic feet of natural gas every day. Every it's day. It's unbelievable how strong the field is there. So <laughs> we joke at, at, at the office uh, off of the Campbell's on Road that we're probably the you know the biggest company that people don't know about. Yeah, right. Well, because you're drilling all your activities out there, and and your corporate center and offices are, are here in our region. So why is that? It's it is a six-hour drive. <laughs> so what are you doing here, just west of Pittsburgh? The the biggest reason we're here is is the cultural and the business center. When we opened this office, we had, we were at that point closing down our Denver office and our Charleston, West Virginia. So we were consolidating out of those two offices. So Charleston was an easy commute for folks to get up this way. Denver, though, that's a tough place to leave. Hmm. And Pittsburgh was a good location for them to come. Oh, you had to convince your executives to move east. Think? A tough sell when they're in the Rockies, right? Absolutely. It's beautiful the there, Rockies. likewise. Yeah, wonderful place to Correct. live, wonderful place to work. But then they come here, and they see a wonderful cultural district. They see a great sports town, education opportunities, beautiful countryside here and it was an easy sell to get the office to move here and really take advantage of all the assets that Pittsburgh has to offer. Well, it's interesting. When you look, actually, at the footprint of the Marcella Shale from upstate New York all the way down through through West Virginia, it's always kind of fascinated me that Pittsburgh happens to be smack dab in the middle 
of that entire footprint. So it's not just you, it's not just Cabot, know. there are a lot of companies seem to be making the same business decision that this is the place to base the headquarters operation and the services and support, right? And it goes back to those roots. The idea that Oil City's here, that you have that Titus fill, you have the mentality, the understanding, the appreciation of the energy industry here. Schools like West Virginia University, Carnegie Mellon, Penn State, they already have programs designed for the energy industry. Mm -hmm. you know, the idea of what we do is not foreign here. In Susquehanna County, it's an unknown. So we had a lot of work to do for just educating people about production of natural gas, exploration, what is frac sand, what's a generator. Those are things that are, that are here that are sort of a little more born and bred into people because they're familiar with the energy industry. Yeah, whether it's energy, whether it's manufacturing, just this idea of industrial activity, at least there's a comfort level, uh, you know, with those types of industries. Well, back to your new building, we only have a minute, uh, about a minute left, but uh, I, I, more, uh, more space clearly, but I understand you're going to one get everybody on one floor at uh, yes, your new in, location? Yes, in, in 2010 when we opened the building we had 34 employees, we're now up to over 100, and what you're looking at is we needed to get space to put them all so we can be on one floor, and what's nice about the place that we're going uh, is we'll have room for expansion hmm. on the same floor. So where exactly are you going to be? We're going to be at uh, 2000 Park Lane which is in uh, Robinson Township right off uh, Montour Run. Okay and how soon do you think you're going to be and when's moving day? Do you well, know we yet? should be in the building by uh, summer. So, okay. Yeah you know, we'll, we'll take it over we'll do the build out uh, April May be in the building by June. Excellent. And last couple of seconds. So in the meantime, Cabot's still hiring for a lot of positions. You guys, uh, we still? we are hiring, and all of our contractors are hiring also. Okay. That is the best piece, the biggest growth opportunity is that future. Okay, very good. What well, an exciting time for Cabot. Congratulations. Thank you. And again, Happy New Year. George Stark with Cabot Oil and Gas. Appreciate it. Good Appreciate to see you again. You got it, sir. Thank you. Next up, open wide. We'll be drilling into a fast-growing dental network when our region's business returns. Stay with us.